वेलकम टू जॉय प्रॉपर्टी गाइड टुडे वी आर गोइंग फ्रॉम नोएडा टू यमुना एक्सप्रेस वे थ्रू द सर्विस रोड सो दैट यू कैन हैव अ लुक ऑफ द नियर बाई सेक्टर्स एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो सी वट काइंड ऑफ डेवलपमेंट हैज हैपन्ड इन लास्ट थ्री टू फोर ईयर्स ऑफ टाइम इट्स अ सेल्फ एक्सप्लेनेटरी आई विल टेल यू द सेक्टर्स वेयर वी आर पासिंग थ्रू रेस्ट एंजॉय द टूर on right hand side you have your sector 135 where most of the prominent commercial properties are there and it's considered to be the cyber city of noida most prominent companies like genpak tcs ericsson they all have their offices here on right hand side basically green cover has developed so much in noida it is difficult to see the nearby sectors as well on left hand side you have your 60 meter wide green belt then 12 meter service sector road service road then you have your 100 meter noida greater noida express and the same goes with the other side also so from one side till the last it is almost 320 meter of distance in terms of greenery in terms of road and infrastructure See the stellar building I was talking about. The tall building that you see is of sector one sixty eight. It's adjacent sectors to sector third one thirty five, and uh, this is the first adjacent commercial. adjacent to sector 135 so the people who are working in this corporates they prefer to stay in this sector or opposite to that sector is 137 where nine developers has already uh, delivered their projects the glass building that you see is of advant tower where we have your amazing food court just like your cyber city samsung kpmg some of the most top most corporates has offices there this is itl nimbus groups project then you have your lotus zing opposite to that thing uh, arab tech xavier and sivnagar school which is a considered to be one of the landmark in this sector is also present and fng is passing through this road only on left hand side you have your 143b 144 sector where um, metro is functional but if you are travelling on weekend you can get a stoppage on that place trains will be running a little slower but if you are going on weekdays trains should be running on uh, good speed and they will not stop at 144 145 146 147 they generally avoid four stations because uh, very few people get down as, as of now because residential properties about to give positions probably whenever all the residential staff will give positions then you can expect a stoppage on those stations and some of the corporates which has already started their uh, construction for their commercial properties the moment it gets delivered when people will get to devote on that place then probably you can uh, expect a, expect a station functional station now we have taken service road of noida greater noida expressway
Now on right hand side the sector that you see is of 152 where Arabtech has come out with their commercial properties. If we travel a little bit then we will enter into Noida to Greater Noida that means near the Parichok is almost ending. On left hand side the metro station that you see is of 148. On right hand side uh, 150 sector is coming. Now we have taken a loop towards Yamuna Expressway, it is a part of Greater Noida. Now look at the greenery that they have maintained. It is not even visible if you are travelling from Yamuna Expressway but we are going parallel to that road.
on left hand side Kotmude Gautambad International University is coming on left hand side this is the campus adjacent to that campus greenery and park is properly maintained now if we go straight uh, we will uh, reach to Jevar International Airport in probably 15 minutes of time in our next video we will try to cover up all the development which is happening on Yamuna Expressway Probably you can have a look. Thank you.